so what's, what's your thoughts about being back here for the first time? Uh, you know, it's an all good feeling. Uh, you know, I miss the gym. I miss uh, the people around here that work with, uh, work with me every day. And uh, you know, I have a special feeling for all of them. I have a special feeling for this place. You know, I spent my uh, rookie season and after that three seasons more. You know, so there's a special place in my heart for this place. And uh, you know, I love the city. I love the fans. And I love the, the people that work here you know, and work hard with me every day. How do you look back on your decisions and in, in, in the, in the whole process that led to all of this, Steve? Uh, I tried not to look at it. You know, in the end, uh, everything is going to be cleared out. You know, and uh, everyone's going to forget after this year. And, you know, everyone's going to forget the situation. So I just tried to not to think about it. And you know, uh, from my side, I'm just happy to play basketball, be on the floor, and you know, just. Uh, try to go through the season and then make a decision where I'm going to uh, spend the rest of my career. Well, what I was going to say, do you, are you concerned about the lack of playing time, how that will affect your ability to get the kind of contract you feel you deserve next year? Uh, not really. You know, uh, at this point when I was signing a minimum, I knew what I'm getting into, you know, and I knew that uh, it might be tough for me to, to play. And, you know, I did whatever's in my power to be on the floor and the rest is not my decision, you know. And, uh, the teams that follow me, they see me, you know, they know that I can play. In the time that I was getting before, I showed that I can play. And then, you know, all other teams follow me in the warm-up, so everyone knows that I'm healthy and ready to go. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully everything is going to work out for the best. And whatever I'm, gonna, whatever I'm gonna play next year, you know, I'm gonna try to help the team as much as possible to, you know, compete for a playoffs or title or whatever it's gonna be. Do you have any regrets on anything? Oh, uh, no. You know, uh, life is too short to regret for something. You know, the decision was made, you know, and. I cannot really look back and try to. This is NBA, you know. If you think about uh, last night's game, uh, and you're gonna think, I'm sorry, and you're gonna think for, uh, you know, tomorrow you have another one, you're still thinking you're gonna lose tomorrow game too, you know. So it's just you have to move, move, move aside and, you know, just look forward. I know you said you didn't have any regrets, but were you any frustrated at all about how it went down everything? Oh yeah, of course. You know, uh, it was a long time for me not playing basketball you know and uh, of course there was a lot of options uh, at, at the moment I was thinking to go to Europe start playing you know because uh, a lot of big teams was offering me pretty good contracts you know and uh, uh, of course there was a there was a moment that I was like just frustrated first uh, just looking at the situation but you know I, all I can do is just be on the floor and play basketball that's my job you know everything else is you know lawyers agents uh, managers owners job you know and I uh, you know, unfortunately, I was involved in that, but you know, hopefully, no other player is going to have to deal with the station that was T toughest thing you've ever had to deal with. Oh, definitely, by far. What are your yeah. thoughts about what they, what the Rockets have been able to do? You, I know you probably kept an eye on them all this process. Oh, of course, you know, uh, you know the the players and uh, and uh, and staff. You know, they we're friends still today. You know, and of course, I'm I'm happy the way they play. You know, they're performing really well this year. is really good for them, and I, there's a lot of talks and thoughts that they might be in the finals you know i hope they will be you know i think it's going to be great for the city if this happens because you know this uh, the rockets organization was building for a championship for so many years and, you know in the final anything can happen you know and uh i'm really happy for for uh, everyone here and hopefully you know the city gonna get a championship they deserve what do you think about what james hart's been doing i think it's unreal you know uh james really escalated even more you know i didn't really expect that he's going to be that a good old player you know in a point guard position and uh but, you know, like I said, he's he really escalated his game to a different level and it's just really impressive. Thanks,